Hi, the Arcade Buffet here. Just wanted to do a little bit of kind of a special thing here, kind of a tech video thing. What I'm attempting to do is take this bonded yoke off of this tube. As you can see, I've gnarled it up pretty good. And now I'm going to have to get the heat gun out and kind of try to work it loose. So we shall see how that turns out. As you can see, got me a nice, powerful heat gun. It is take the paint off of a car. This one's really powerful. So, stay tuned for more results. Once we get that done, the next video will be about doing some convergence. See if we can get it uh, kind of right. I'm gonna turn this tube into my test tube. Uh, due to the fact my other one, the focus pin broke, so I gotta get me another tube. And this one's got some scratches on the face, so it'll be a good test tube once I get the yoke off, providing I don't break the neck. So, stay tuned. Alright, after about 10 minutes or so with the heat gun, taking it and rotating it slowly around the tube, we have success. As you can see, it's pretty gnarled. It's pretty hot, let me tell you. So make sure you wear some gloves, whatnot while you're doing this, otherwise you will burn your fingers. As you can see, it came off. I'm gonna let the tube cool down before I do anything with it because I don't want it hot and put uh, some cold cleaning fluid and stuff on it and crack the glass. So I'm gonna let it cool down for a good while and then I'll clean everything off. So stay tuned. All right, a little more progress. I got uh, got the frame, everything swapped over. Got the degauss coil put back around it. Got it all wire tied down. But I haven't got the yoke on it yet, so that's the next set, next step. But just wanted to get a quick update. Uh, if I can find it here, yeah, there it is. Here's the yoke. This is what we're going to be putting back on it. This one here, I've done a little modification to so I can take and repair different chassis on the same tube. A couple different types can use this yoke. So I have this on here and have different connectors so that way I can just swap this and go to the other styles. Not a big issue. So we're going to give it a shot, see what happens. Stay tuned. Alright, we're back. This is what it looks like. Sat here and put the yoke back on. Okay, got the yoke all back on. Got the rings on. Did uh, some color adjustments and some purity adjustments. And a little bit of, little bit of convergence uh, on it. And this is what it looks like. It's not perfect, but for a test tube, works okay. But it's hard to see. But down here in the corner, got a little bit of a, a hue to it that's partially from the yoke not being able to be not adjusted correctly on the tube and there's a little bit of a little bit of convergence issues it's hard to see on the black screen but you can see up here and not on this screen terribly but see how the letters are a little off up there well that's that's about what it does when they're not the guns aren't all aligned but for the most part it looks good and like I say, for a test tube, that's all I need. So, one TV rescued from the dump and turned into a perfectly good test rig for repairing chassis. So, I just thought you guys might enjoy this. So, not too many technical details in this one, but all in all, the end result is what I wanted. A nice, nice picture tube to test with. All the guns are good beautiful test beautiful uh, colors on it but like I say convergence is a little off but that's okay so hope you all enjoyed if you like the video please leave a comment if uh, need any parts hit me up need any tips or tricks hit me up visit my site thearcadebuffet.com or shoot me an email at thearcadebuffet at gmail.com thank you much